On my biggest insecurity video, which was a couple videos back, if we rewind it, I had a comment from one of my good friends that I should do a video about my pre-college experience back at UVM in 2012 that he also did with me. So then I also have a list of other things that I wanted to do. So I made a poll on Twitter to see what you guys would want to see and pre-college won. So here it is. This is the story about that time I went to pre-college. Now, let me just start off. College is not for everyone. And this is what's so great about pre-college programs from universities, which I'm pretty sure around the world different universities probably have pre-college. I know a lot of universities in the United States do. I'm not sure about the other ones. I guess I'll do a little research and leave information about it down in the comments when I do find that. But if you don't know if college is going to be good for you or you are suited for college, pre-college program is the best way to go because you do it in the summertime between your high school years. And at the same time, you do get college credit for it. Now, I did pre-college, I did acting one. Um, I did acting one for my pre-college class. I only did one class. I think you can do more than one class if you're really tempting. But I just wanted to get my foot in and see how this college was going to happen. And so... Also, my, you know, I just wanted to really get in there, tone in my acting skills, sharpen them up, just the normal stuff, I guess. So I went to pre-college for acting one. I knew a lot of people there went for medical things. Some people went for drawing and math and a whole wide of different classes, which is great because there's so many classes that you can choose from that your high school does not give you. So it really widens your learning. So it just really broadens what you learn and to see if you can get through college. So pre-college programs are usually just for high schoolers, are for high schoolers and you go to, you stay in the dorm with actual other high schoolers that are doing the pre-college program, living the college life with actual college professors, and going to class with actual college students. So it's a little, like, scary and intimidating, but this, when you get through it and you work at it, it feels like a normal school day through summer, which, if, I almost put my water. <laughs> If you guys have done summer school like me throughout elementary school, summer school every year, I really didn't know there was actually summer vacation until high school, which then I had no clue what to do with my life, so I started doing pre-college. <laughs> and I also did um, like a summer camp called Sokapa, which is just for um, art things like directing and acting, dancing, but that's all for a different day. <laughs> I'm totally off topic. Um, but here's a little fun footage of my wonderful RAs took videos, filmed videos of our 2012 UVM summer program pre-college thing. They took some videos, footages of us having fun when we were all together and we're hanging out. So here's some footages of me in the video. Um, here you go. Let's look at some of these. Frankie, thanks for doing this. It's a pleasure. It's so great. It's great, yeah? Go, go, go! 
Come on, guys. You gotta follow them. Oh, I'm actually taking a video. Ready? Good job, guys. <laughs> you brought me with Marcus arrows and bullets. Uh, perfect. Nice. I love it. Hey Frankie, this is Jay. Oh, uh, I'm 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 actually downstairs in the basement Katie? and uh, uh Katie, Katie just passed out. Wake up, Katie! I, I just called the police and wake I called up. Tracy and everyone and she's like, Katie, no, wake up! I have no idea what's yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Can you come come downstairs? Come on, Katie, wake up! Alright, I'm just like panicking right now. I have no idea Katie, what's going wake on. up! Alright, bye. Let's just <laughs> 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 Katie, wake up! Come on! Katie, wake up! Come on! Come, Come on, Katie! You okay? Katie. Yep, that's some of the video from what happened, all the fun we had, and I can't stop smiling because I had a wonderful time. I really had a wonderful time, even though I was having anxiety before going, driving from St. Albans to Burlington, which is a good miles away. I, I'm blanking on how much, <laughs> but you got that good amount of time to have your anxiety come at you with all the possibilities that could happen. You can stuck with a horrible roommate. I got lucked out. I had the best roommate every time I went back home on Fridays um, to go to work at where I worked at the Weldon, which is a movie theater. I would come back and she would either have left me a note or once I came back and she had this duct tape on my bed that had mustaches. <laughs> so you cut out the mustache and then you can wear it. 
I still actually have the duct tape. If you're watching this, Emily, I still have the duct tape. But, so she got me that duct tape. It's, there, it's hilarious. It, it's a bunch of different types of mustaches. It's great. But also, she said she had another surprise for me. One day, I can't, and then I came back another day, and a group of the girls were like, and my roommate, they, were, they said, they had a surprise for me, it's down in the basement. So I went down to the basement, which is also our rec center area. There is a lounge down there, there's a cafeteria, and some other people's dorms that were in the back area part. But went down there to the kitchen, in the freezer, they brought, they bought me French toast sticks. <laughs> it was wonderful. They had a note on it saying, these are Alicia's paws off or keep off, something like that. I really don't remember, but it was wonderful. They were so sweet. So what's great about this is, like I said, you make a lot of friends that stay with you because of like-mindedness, but it's not just people from your state. So I was in Vermont, and so it wasn't just Vermonters that were there. There were people from Pennsylvania and Massachusetts, Rhode Island, People from out of America came to this pre-college program. So you really do get the college experience while living there. You get that experience of living away from home. If you've never been away from home, you get to see what it would be like. You get to see if you can actually live in a college dorm and do it without your parents or if you're suited for college because college isn't for everyone. So it's wonderful. And then when you're there, you're learning college hacks, life hacks. Like finding a little place to sit down and have the quietness because having that little place keeps you sane. And I found that mine was eating in the dining hall alone at certain times of the day <clears throat> when they were opened. Um, that was my little sane place, eating alone <laughs> at certain times to recharge that social battery in you which brings me to say eating alone in the dining hall is fine you don't have to freak out about it you don't actually have to sit people and talk with them no one's judging you everyone who goes in the dining hall is very hungry that that's all they're thinking about is eating the food before they have anger hunger problems and attack it people hangry when they're hangry and they attack other people because they're hangry. They're just, they just want their food. They're not caring, they're not judging you because you're sitting alone at the table. And sometimes, some of people will actually come ask if they sit with you, and you make even new friends, more new friends. Yeah, because everyone, because you need more, right? More the merrier, I always like to say. And then when you're taking your college classes, you can actually confirm your interest in what you want to do if you want to go to college or if you want to go to college. You're confirming if you actually want to do that. Um, yeah. You confirm everything you want. I had a wonderful time doing it. I highly recommend if you're on that seesaw moment of you're not sure if you want to or if you don't, look into a university near you or out of your state for the summer and do their pre-college program to help confirm if you want to go or if you don't want to go or even if you do want to go to college look into a university or one out of state who does pre-college program and do it just to confirm your interest in college because you never know if college is suited for you. I'm going to leave it there. Like the big thumbs up button if you like the video. Comment down below if you have a video you want to see me do or if you have more questions about the pre-college program. I know I didn't talk about a lot about it. I do have down in the description box, there are links to other pre-college programs to the University of Vermont's pre-college program and other articles of other people who did the pre-college program and what they got from it. In the end, I had a wonderful time, even though my insecurities were batting me down it just shows that I, I just proved to myself that don't let anything stop 
get in your way, just push through it, even if you're scared to do it or whatnot. You should never let anything stop you, especially not yourself, especially not your fears or your insecurities. You need to go out and prove to yourself that everything that you're thinking, that you're feeling is wrong, especially if they're negative thoughts or feelings. If they're positive ones, they're probably not wrong, but those negative ones are wrong. And my pre-college experience showed to me that my negative thoughts were wrong, which led me going to associates, to community college, it led me going to community college and proved to myself that maybe smarter than what I think I am. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to my channel to see another Saturday video at 10 a.m. on the dot. Until then, everyone. Goodbye.